So let's process a level 3 transaction with the eProcessing Network Online Terminal. From the drop down menu, select Online Terminal and then click Go. The first section you're presented with only shows up if your account is enabled for level 2 or 3 processing. For level 3 transactions, we'll go ahead and click on the checkbox labeled Process as Purchase Corporate Card Level 3. For this sale, we'll go ahead and enter this data after we've completed the next section that has to do with order details. If you viewed the first video in which we described what level 3 transactions are and how to set up inventory management system on the Gateway account, you may remember that we set up sample uniform t-shirts in the inventory database. Right now we have a customer who wants to purchase uniforms and would like to buy some t-shirts and also some shorts. We know that we've already entered the t-shirts into the inventory database, but the shorts they want to buy are not yet entered in the inventory database. The first thing we'll do is start typing under either item, which we know for this product starts with C12, or we can delete that and start our search under the name, which is sample. A dropdown appears with any matching items. What we do is select sample t-shirts and all the information that we entered in the inventory database gets added as a line item, which includes the item number, the taxes, discounts, commodity code, and price. You can also manually edit this information by clicking the edit icon if anything needs to get corrected or changed. We also know that our customer wants to buy shorts, which if we perform a search under either item or name, we know there are no matching items, so we have to manually enter this information on the fly. Under item, we'll enter the item number, the name of the product, then the commodity code, and once again, this information is information you can get from your acquiring bank, or at the very least, they can point you in the right direction. We then enter our price, unit of measure, and then any applicable discounts if so desired. When we click add, this product will be added as a line item. Now we go to the top where we enter either the purchase order, customer code, or order ID, whichever is applicable. Then we enter the shipping and handling amount and the zip code where these products are being sent to. The ship to country is by default the United States and then the tax identifier whether it's local, sales tax, or tax exempt. Then if necessary, we enter the tax amount, which we can see has been pre-populated because it's been carried over from the inventory items we've added to this order. You can override this amount if you've entered products manually into the order details section. Now it's just a matter of processing the transaction as we normally would. Enter the credit card number, then the expiration date, the CVV2 code, if it's available, again, that's the code usually on the back of the card. We then enter the customer data, which we always recommend you fill in all the information if possible. The billing address, and then whether you'd like to receive a copy of the email receipt that's being sent to the customer for this transaction. Once we fill in all the information, we submit the transaction and we finished processing a level 3 sale.